Good morning, class. Today is Monday, 11th May, 2020. And before starting today's lesson, let's review that what have we done on Friday. On Friday, we have identified verbs and adverbs. And I gave you to practice that in homework from our uh, textbook. <coughs> so, you have given me homework diya tha Friday. Ke liye. कि आपने identify करना था verbs and adverbs after reading the story आपने six interesting verbs and adverbs को list up करना था और आपने ये poster भी prepare करना था on the opposite side of your notebook on uh, on the opposite page of your notebook and after doing that you were asked to fill up the index as well and I'm sure आपने इसके बाद इसका index भी fill किया होगा all right uh, now let's begin our today's lesson Today we are going to use adverbs and verbs in sentences. So today we are going to practice further verbs and adverbs in sentences. So here you can see that uh, there is a list of adverbs and verbs. Easily settled, recently arrived, noisily entered, quietly approached, angrily curled. So these are the adverbs and these are the verbs and uh, we discussed on Friday that a verb is a word that shows some action it is a doing word and adverb modifies the verb the word which tell us more about a word it is called adverb and mostly it ends with li all right so let's begin uh, with this uh, with our topic so please I request you to open up your workbook workbook page number 11 all right all right children first of all please write down day monday 11th may 2020 and uh, let's begin use the following adverbs and verbs in sentences of your own you see the highlighted words so you have to highlight the same words a b c d e f we are given six options six words we have highlighted um, adverbs first easily recently noisily angrily quietly expectedly you have to highlight similarly aapne bhi isko similarly highlight karna all right settled yahan pe maine verbs ko blue set uh, blue color kiya hai aap koi sa bhi color use kar sakte hain settled arrived entered quarreled approached arrived these all of all of these verbs are the past verbs ye action words hain jo past verbs hain now we are going to use them in sentences. On A we have, yes, on A we have easily settled. Easily settled. So let's make a sentence with this one. As I told you that, uh, a sentence, uh, while making a sentence, we usko a subject, dena hai, subject, verb and object. That is S, V, O. Subject, we required a subject, verb, and some object on which some action will be performed. That is S V O. All right. Easily settled. The school head easily settled in armchair. B. We have quarreled angrily. Quarrel mean to fight. You can write down the meaning to fight. Both friends quarreled angrily. My father recently arrived from England. What is on C? Recently arrived. My father recently arrived from England. My father is a subject. Recently is adverb. Arrived is the verb. And from England. D. He quietly approached the building from back parking. On D we have quietly approached. So you can use highlighter to underline Yes, do not highlight full word, just use highlighter to underline the adverbs and verb. So these will look prominent. So that's how you will highlight these. All right, students, now it's uh, time to look at the diary. Today's diary is practice using verbs and adverbs as homework. Workbook page number 11. You have to use uh, E and F. On E we have noisily entered and on F we have unexpectedly arrived. So you will use these two words 
adverbs and verbs in sentences e and f these two part is to be these two parts to be completed as homework you have to practice these as your homework all right so let me repeat let's recap what we have done today today we have used adverbs and verbs in sentences on a we have easily settled the school had easily settled in armchair make sure at the end of the sentence you must put full stop both friends quarreled angrily my father recently arrived from england d on d we have quietly approached he quietly approached the building from back parking so make sure you have to revise svo formula as well s stand for subject v stand for verb and o stands for object all right so that's how you will complete your homework thank you very much look after yourself stay home stay safe